Gone are the days of having to print and send out copies of documents to be signed, or asking tenants and their guarantors to come into the office to sign a tenancy agreement. With our e-signing feature, any document can now be sent out via email to all parties for signature electronically. When everyone has signed, the completed document is then stored automatically within the system. I will demonstrate here how simple the process is by generating and sending out a tenancy agreement for signature by this letting's two tenants, one of which has a guarantor, so they will also be emailed requesting a signature. The letting is fully managed, so last of all the agent will be emailed for their signature on the landlord's behalf. If we look at a preview of the tenancy agreement here, we can see the signature section at the end with the e-signing tags in place. Let's now generate the agreement as normal. Once generated, we can now send the document out for e-signing by clicking on the e-sign link. The signatures are requested in the order they appear here, and we can drag and drop these to reorder them if we like. Once we're happy with the order, click on the e-sign button to start the process. Our e-signing partner, Signable, will then send out an email to the first of the signatories, which we can see here if we log into their email account. They simply need to click on the link, and this will take them to the Signable system to make the signature. They then have the option to take a quick tour of the Signable system, running through each of the steps involved and familiarising themselves with the user interface along with reassurance on the legality of electronic signatures. Once they are happy, they can click here to take them to the first of the signatures they are required to make. The e-signing feature supports multiple signatures per document, but on this example, only one is required by each person, so they are taken directly to the signature section at the end of the agreement. To make the signature, they have the choice of whether to draw it, type it, or upload a signature image. To submit the signature, just click on the Confirm button. This will then move the process on to the next of the signatories, and if we go back into the system, we can see that they have been emailed the link to make their signature. Once all of the signatures have been made, a completed copy of the document is emailed to everyone and is also stored within the system and available to view here. So there you have it. You can see how straightforward the process is, saving everyone involved time and effort. If you have any questions about this feature or would like to add it to your 1090 system, then don't hesitate to get in touch.